What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to center your app on the screen with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to center your app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, it is Friday here in Vegas. Very excited, and it's actually cooling off a little bit, so we might have some nice weather this weekend. Won't be a thousand degrees out. And then this video, I'm going to show you how to center your app in the middle of the screen. So right when you run it the first time, it will be completely centered in the screen. Now, this is a little tricky because every monitor is different sized and your monitor may be this big. Uh, your resolution may be that big. It may be this big. Who knows? And if you share your programs with somebody else, you don't know what their monitor resolution is or their monitor size is. So it could be a little tricky to do this, but it's not that bad. So this is going to be a little bit weird because I have two monitors. And as you probably know, if you've watched these videos, whenever I run these programs, it they appear on my other monitor and then I have to kind of drag them over. So you're not going to be able to see exactly centered. I'll have to kind of fudge a little bit, but I'll show you exactly how to do it in the code at least. So let's go ahead and close this and open our code. I've got a file called center.py, our basic Kinter starter code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So we're going to be working a lot in this root.geometry thing. And you see right off the bat, you can designate how big you want your app to be. I want mine to be 500 by 500, and this is how we do it. So right off the bat, we're going to change this around a little bit. So I'm going to come up here and let's go uh, designate height and width of our app. So I'm going to call this window or app underscore width and set that to something. And I'm going to call this app underscore height and set this to something. And let's just make this uh, 500 by 500 right off the bat. Now we can come down here and instead of explicitly using these numbers, we can use these variables. And this is going to be important because we're going to need to do this later on for some other things as well. So instead of doing this 500 by 500, I'm going to make an F string. And inside of here, I'm going to put this times this. And these brackets just allow us to pass in variables. So we can say app width is that and app height is that. So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that worked. And let's run Python center.py. And when we do, we get this nice 500 by 500. If we close this, now if we want to change this to, for instance, uh, 1000 by 500, we could save this and run it again. Now it's 1000 by 500. So that's the first step and it's kind of important. Now we can also fiddle with other things in here. We can do plus this and that and plus this and that. Now these two things will be the X and Y coordinates of the top left hand corner of your app. If you want your app to appear in a certain position on your screen, you can pass that position right here, right? So right now let's just say 100 by 100. Now this is the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. So you know an X, Y grid. Now we could save this and run it, but it's not going to make any sense because it's going to pop up on my other monitor. Uh, so I can't really show you that. So, okay. Now let's talk about what we want to do here. So let me, uh, let me close these out. Now let's pretend this whole thing, just the square box is our computer monitor, right? So what we could do, what we want to do is let me click and make a line here. We need to first off, figure out where the center of the screen is. So right here where these two lines cross, that's sort of the center of our screen. Now this is not exactly centered because I just eyeballed this, but basically we need to find out the center of the screen, which begs the question, how do we find out the size of our screen? What, what is our current size? What is my monitor size? Who knows? So we can figure that out with Hinter. So let's get rid of that and head back over to our code real quick. Now we can find the screen width and the screen height. So we can, let's create a variable called screen underscore width, set that equal to something, and one called screen underscore height, and set that equal to something. 
And what is the screen width? Well, it's just root.winfo underscore screen width, and this is a function. And we've looked at winfo stuff for other things uh, in the playlist. Check the comment section below for a link to the playlist, but that's how we find the screen width. And we could do the same thing to get the screen height. So we can go winfo underscore screen height, and that's a function. Now, let's create a label down here. Let's go my underscore label. And that's gonna be a label. And we wanna put it in root. And we want the text to equal. And let's do let's do another F string here. And let's just pass in those two variables. So let's go width colon colon. And over here, let's go height colon. And then let's just grab each of these things. So let's go screen width. Let's copy this and paste that into there. And let's go screen height and go ahead and pass that into here just to see what these things are. So now let's go my underscore label dot pack. Give this a pad Y of 20, push it down the screen a little bit. So now if we save this and run it, we can see that our screen width is 1600 pixel and our height is 900 pixels. Now this is my other monitor and I have the resolution jacked up a little bit higher. Normally your screen width and height might be different, but that's why this is so important because every monitor is different. Every monitor is set to a different screen resolution, you know, potentially. So this particular monitor is 1600 by 1900 or by 900. Well, how do we find the middle of the screen? Well, we could just take each of these divided by two, right? That will tell us the middle of the screen, but there's a problem, right? If we come back here and let's grab our little thing here again, and let's make a line. Actually, first, let me bring over our app here. Now, let's say we wanted this to appear right in the middle of the screen. And again, let's pretend like this is our monitor, this blue area here. Well, if we found the middle of the screen like we just did, let's go ahead and make a line here. That'd be something like that by, I don't know, something like that. The middle is right here. Well, if we if we told our our app to go to the middle using these coordinates, well, it would put it right. Oops, we don't need the pen anymore. It would put it like right here. It would put the top left corner in the middle of the screen. That's what let me bring back the code. That's what this coordinate system right here would be. So if we put it like screen width divided by two by screen height divided by two, it would end up putting it right here, right? That's no good. We need to put it right here, right in the middle. So we need this thing. Let me draw this again. Stick with me here. I know this is a little confusing uh, and this is just the best way I can do it, but let me just show you this here. Let's get our middle section again. What we need to do is figure out where this point right here is because if we put it right there, the rest of the app will flow through and then it will be centered. This will be like what our app will look like. Right? So if we want our whole app, imagine this thing is our app, right? We want the top left corner to be right here, not right here, because if it was right here, then our whole app would be, you know, it would look like this on the screen. And that's no good. We want it to be right in the middle. So we need to find this point uh, right here. So how do we do that? Well, we need to find the width and the height of our app and divide that by two and then subtract that from this, the middle thing. And that will pop it up in that direction. Just trust me on this. Uh, okay, so it, it's hard to visualize that. So let's just write the code out and do it. So I'm gonna change this to 500 by 500 again, just for fun. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to create some X, Y coordinates. So I'm gonna call this X equals, and I'm gonna call this Y equals. And this is gonna be two things, just like this. Because remember, we've gotta find half of the screen width and half of the app width and then we subtract those, right? So what we could do is just call screen underscore width and then take that divided by two. 
okay? And here we can go screen underscore height and divide that by two, right? So that's part of it. Now we need to subtract from that our app width and height divided by two. So here that's gonna be app width divided by two, and this is gonna be app height divided by two, right? So you've got your screen width, say that's say 1600. We take that divided by two to get the middle point. And then we subtract from that half of our app size width, and that will knock that over. Same thing with the screen height, and I misspelled height. There we go. <laughs> so we take our screen height, which is, I guess, 900, divide that by two, and then subtract from that half of our app height, and that will pop that over the top left corner and everything will be good. So now we take this X and Y and we need to pass that into our root geometry thing. So we've got our app width times our app height. Then we add to it the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. Now this will, sh uh, this will shoot out a float and like a decimal number. So we need to make sure this is an integer. So I'm just gonna wrap this whole thing in an integer function, same thing here. Otherwise, I think we'll get an error because we want this to be a whole number here. So, okay, now if we save this and run it, this is where it's weird because you're not gonna be able to see, run this again. And over on my other monitor, I promise you, it popped up right in the middle of the screen. Obviously, you can't see that, but basically what it did is pop the app like right here in the middle of the screen uh, because it defaults to my main monitor, which is 1600 by 900. So. I can't show it to you because like I said, it just popped up on the other monitor, but trust me, it did pop up in the exact center of the screen. So I know that was a little bit convoluted. So let's walk through this one more time. You've got your app width and your app height, right? That's whatever you want it to be. And then you've got your screen width and your screen height, which is just root W info screen width and root W info screen height. So to get the X, Y coordinates to pass into your root geometry thing right here, right? You just take your screen width divided by two and subtract the app width divided by two. That's your X coordinate. That's gonna be this point right about here, right? Then you take your Y, you take your screen height divided by two. You can put a space here if you want, or you don't have to. And you subtract from that the app height divided by two. And that will give you the Y coordinate in that sort of coordinate, in that sort of spot, which is, if we do this again really quickly, just zoom that will give us right here, this spot right here. So the screen width divided by your divided by two minus your app width divided by two will give you the X coordinate for this and your screen height divided by two minus your app height divided by two will give you the Y coordinate for this spot right here. And then that will definitionally bring the rest of your app completely in center of the screen and you're good to go. So, whew, <laughs> very convoluted, but really not that hard. I'm just having a hard time visualizing it for you. But trust me, that's how you do it. You could try it for yourself to see. All right, so that was a convoluted Friday morning video, but it's Friday, we muddled through it, and <laughs> hopefully that made some sort of sense to you. So that's all for this video. If you like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.